How you doing? How you doing? It's been a little while. Tuve un poquito accidente, un accidente poquito. Perdí un diente, pero es que es. Entonces, yeah, casi un mes. It's been like a month or so. Month or so since we did the last one of these, and uh, we're doing a new one. Uh, I haven't, haven't toned it down on the seltzer. Uh, I've been drinking just as many as ever, um, but we are doing a new one, and this is uh, this is natural light seltzer. Uh, they have two of them. They don't come in six packs. They don't come in variety packs. There's no like 12 pack with six and six or whatever. There's only two flavors. This one is uh, cherry and lime, and the other one is like peach and mango, I think. We'll do that one day. It's uh, this is the Catalina Lime Mixer. It's like a play on words, or a pun. I think that's what it's called. A pun uh, for that like Step Brothers movie. And then the other one is like uh, the peach and mango one. If that's what it is, uh, Aloha Beaches. It's pretty uh, bro-centric, I guess you could say. Uh, so this is it anyways, no, really normal pack. The branding and stuff looks just like uh, Natty Light, the beer. Uh, I drink seltzers, I'm only doing reviews on seltzers and stuff all the time now. I still drink a lot of beer. I don't drink Natty Light. I mean, I do like PBR and Nair Dance It, Miller High Life. That's like the low bottom of the barrel. Not even, they're fine, but um, just like domestic. So I don't do like Bush Light, Natty Light. They're not bad, I just don't really ever get them. Um, so they are not a Slim Slender can, it's a normal beer size can. Uh, so that's exactly how the 12 pack looks here. Uh, so that's what we got going here. Um, yeah, 12 ounces. When cherry and lime become best friends, it's 6%. So that's nice. That's a nice plus. And I've heard feedback from friends and stuff who don't like it. Uh, they, they say it's like not, not crisp enough, not enough carbonation. Um, we'll check it out. This isn't my first time doing this. I've had these. I just haven't reviewed them. Um, and uh, it's probably going to get pretty good marks. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure if it's like actual seltzer. The ingredients, they don't really have them. And it says it's a malt beverage with natural flavors. So that's more like a Mike's Hard Lemonade or um, not Twisted Tea because it's not really carbonated. But like, yeah, Mike's Hard Lemonade or like the Smirnoffs or whatever. Uh, so 133 calories in this. Four grams of carbs. Jeez, voy a crecer una barilla. Gonna get fat drinking these. Um, 6%, so that's a plus. Let's crack it open. Let's see what we got going on. Cool can, I mean, just like pretty, pretty normal. It does have a picture of a boat, and I think that's an island in the backdrop, like Catalina Island. For, uh, for I don't know, people out here on the East Coast, I don't know if they know about that, but if you're from L.A. or been to L.A., you might, you know, Catalina. Right there. It's pretty crisp. Um, you can, I don't know if you can taste, like, the difference between, like, a four and a half or a four or five, and now it's a six. Uh, it's pretty good. Crisp, good flavors, it's not overpowering, it's not too sweet, it's a little tart, I would say, which I like, um, so it's pretty good. Not bad, not too bad. Uh, yeah, inaugural time uh, doing cup of ice, I think, with it, though. You know, that would be, if you've seen any others, you know how this would go. Let's do the whole thing. It's good to be back, good to be back. Christmas Eve right now. Christmas Eve, lots of things have happened in the past month since the last review. COVID vaccine, two of them. We got Pfizer and uh, Moderna right here in Boston. Uh, most, of you, most of you watching probably know me, so you know I live in Boston, but if you don't, that's where, that's where Bubbly Life's based out of based out of here. Uh, so good times. We'll be partying again soon, hopefully. Lots of reasons to be partying next year. Got one week left, 2020. 
Oh, cool. I, I was about to take her down, you know, chug her. But uh, you got a tint on this. I didn't know. I didn't really know. Uh, it, I thought it was clear. It has a small, it's kind of maybe hard to see in the light, but it's a rosé tint, like a really light pink tint on this. Oh yeah, good on the cup of ice. Why didn't I think of this before? I think I bought like two, two 12 packs of these before. I just didn't get to, uh, didn't get to review them. Things got out of hand too fast, so. No reviews. I was in no shape to be doing that. I do, I do it sometimes when I'm not in the shape to be doing it, but I haven't done it. Didn't get around to this one. To be honest, people were criticizing this Friends of mine saying like, you know, it's not good. Don't even get it. You, you know, it's in a 12 pack. It's all the same flavor. So if it sucks, like you're stuck, you drink one and it sucks. You're stuck with 11, uh, but it's not, it wasn't bad in the can. It's really good on a cup of ice. And 6%, um, again, it's a malt beverage though. I don't know if it's like a true seltzer, but let's just say it is. We're gonna go with an 8.4 on this bad boy. So it gets high, high remarks. High, high, high marks, remarks, marks. 8.4, that's what it is. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna be trying, next time I'll be trying to do a couple more of these. Got some, got a bunch of free time coming up, so. That's what it is. Thanks all for watching. See you next time. Bye, bye, bye.